Michael was one of a kind. I am um, thinking back to when uh, we met and the many times that we spent together. And whenever we were out together and there would be a picture taken, there would be a, a caption of some kind. And the, the caption usually said something like an odd couple or an unlikely pair. But to us, it was the most natural and easiest of friendships. I was 13 when we met, and from that day on, our friendship grew. Michael always knew that he could count on me to support him or be his date, and that we would have fun no matter where we were. We had a bond. And maybe it was because we both understood what it was like to be in the spotlight from a very, very young age. <laughs> I used to tease him and I'd say, you know, I started when I was 11 months old. You're a slacker. <laughs> you were what, five? Both of us needed to be adults very early. But when we were together, we were two little kids having fun. We never collaborated together. We never performed together or danced on the same stage. Although he did try in vain one night uh, to unsuccessfully teach me the moonwalk. And he just basically just shook his head and crossed his arms at my attempt. We never filmed a video or recorded a song. But what we did do was laugh. It was always a competition to see who could make the other one laugh more or be sillier. Michael loved to laugh. His heart would just burst out of him when he was laughing. He adored it when I did silly imitations or told him stories about my life. MJ's laugh was the sweetest and purest laugh of anyone's I had ever known. His sense of humor was delightful, and he was very mischievous. I remember um, it was the night before Elizabeth Taylor's wedding, and he had called me prior and asked if I would join him. He didn't want to be alone for all the festivities. And um, it was the night before the big day, and Michael and I tried to sneak in to get the first peak of the dress. And we were just giggling like crazy. And we almost passed out in hysterics when we realized that Elizabeth was actually asleep in the bed. We thought she was in an entirely different room. And we had to laugh and sneak out. Uh, then at the point of the wedding when there was the first dance, um, basically we had to joke that we were the mother and father of the bride. Yes, it may have seemed very odd to the outside, but we made it fun and we made it real. When he started wearing the glove, I was like, what's up with the glove? <laughs> I was like, look, if you're going to hold my hand, I better be the non-gloved one because sequins really hurt me. He would Dig in. He'd just shake his head and he would just smile. He loved to be teased. Seeing him smile made you feel like everything was going to be all right. To the outside world, Michael was a genius with unchallenged ability. To the people who were lucky enough to know him personally, he was caring and funny honest, pure. 
non-jaded, and he was a lover of life. He cared so deeply for his family and his friends and his fans. He was often referred to as the king, but the Michael that I knew always reminded me more of the little prince. Thinking of him now, I'd like to share a passage from the book. What moves me so deeply about this sleeping prince is his loyalty to a flower, the image of a rose shining within him like the flame within a lamp, even when he's asleep. And I realized he was even more fragile than I had thought. Lamps must be protected. A gust of wind can blow them out. Michael's sensitivity was even more extraordinary than his talent. And his true truth resided in his heart. As the little prince also said, eyes are blind. You have to look with the heart. What's most important is invisible. Michael saw everything with his heart. To his family, his brothers and sisters, Catherine, Joe, and to his children, Prince, Paris, Blanket, my prayers are with you. Michael's favorite song was not one of the countless masterpieces that he gave us, but it was a song that Charlie Chaplin wrote for the movie Modern Times. It's called Smile. And there's a line in the song that says, Smile though your heart is aching. Today, although our hearts are aching, we need to look up where he is undoubtedly perched in a crescent moon, and we need to smile. <laughs>